Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine this is silver to fix rotoscoping masterclasses in this video i'll talk about defocus roto so let's get started So guys, it's an announcement that we are working with Graphy from an academy and this is a great platform for learn. In this case, you can learn many softwares like right now this course is running and this is Silver Effects Rotoscoping Masterclasses in depth knowledge. So if you go to view course here, you can find out all the details. The date is from this to 5th June. Enrollment free is only 3000. So go and enroll fast, very fast because we have 10 seats, very limited. And guys, this thing is completely will be live. So you can see me, you can ask me anything, whatever you want to ask and you can learn each and every part in more depth way so enroll from here this is a very limited opportunity so just go and enjoy so guys right now we're back in silver effects and this video is sponsored by boris fx so thank you boris fx for providing us the silver fx license so in this video i'll talk about defocus roto so first of all let me talk about what is defocus so if you notice this character is right now a bit blurred but that background is in focus or like in clear so basically that area that it's not coming in focus or out of focus that is called in technical language defocus so in this case these two characters are right now in defocus and guys trust me this is a very simple tutorial it's not a like a masterpiece tutorial like a motion blur hair rotos and all we have to maintain few basic tips and tricks then you can exactly do defocus roto for me it's very irritating the defocus roto but in industry you have to work on defocus parts as well so if you get this kind of shot then how you can deal with this so you have to roto suppose this hat or this character head and all so where should you start so first of all you have to know about defocus age so if you decrease the gamma like this then you can exactly find out the ages in defocus you have three edges like motion blur like hard edge middle edge and the outer edge but this thing this is called the defocused edge now let me talk about in detailed way when you decrease the gamma like this if this defocus will starting from this angle to until this area now you can see this so if you decrease the gamma you can exactly see the outer edge of the defocus now few production houses are asking for the middle edge maintain because sometimes we have to maintain the middle edge like we did in motion blur module but few companies or few production houses are asking for the hard edge but most of the time they needed the middle edge because when you draw some shapes on middle edge and then the compound or the comp compositing team will add a blur that blur will be applied both of the side like this side also and this side also so that's why they have to maintain the middle edge of the like anything what you want to do roto so just take a new layer from here and i'm just taking a like a normal shape for the track just like this and the shape should be like this and press shift t and then i'm making a track forward so just start the track Okay, so the track is done. I just stabilized this layer and you can see the track is stabilized uh, pretty well. Pretty nice in fact. So first I just delete the shape from here. So let's draw our defocused edges here. So I'm just making two, three separate, uh, separate divisions here. So just first shape divisions should be something around this one. I think, yeah, this is nice and uh, this should be here. And the next one, let's take around uh, and the next one should be something around yeah this is pretty nice and i think so okay so when you decrease the gamma something like decrease the gamma bit like this you can exactly see the edges are getting increasing but this is not the way to learn the rotoscoping so this is your final output that is visible here so what you have to do you just have to draw your shape according to your main final output so if you decrease the gamma you can exactly see some weird edges but if you increase the shape from this edges that is not a correct way i am just showing here because of this outrage or middle age purposes but when you draw the shape that should be maintained on this much area so now for the reference if i press shift a to alpha and uh, from node i'm just making it to invert and now you can see this is a very hard line so just first of all make it to 50 percent to decrease this so this is our very sharp edge okay so when the comper will add some blurs on this so select these two layers here just select these two layers now you can find this area called blurred node okay so if i increase the blur you can exactly see start getting blurred so you can't understand here so go to this alpha here now if you notice when you increase the blur it's increasing from both the sides like this side and this side also so in this way they exactly maintain the blur so okay so when you press shift a now see this is start getting matching already so if you just increase it now see it's getting mad but this is not the way to match the defocus here we just have to make it default 
default like this and you have to maintain this kind of weird shape and send it to Comper. The rest of the parts Comper will do. But few companies are asking to maintain the blur to match with the input and the IO rotoscoping shape. Then only you can the permission to get increasing the blur values and match with that. Now if you find out the blur type centered, inner and outer, the when you click to centered, this will be increased from both the sides. Okay, this is the normal thing. Now when you change it to inner, then it will increase only the inner side like this and when you make it to outer obviously it will be in only the outer side now these types of things are sometimes needed based on company and based on the shots okay but in this case i'm making it only the default way okay so this is the final shape something around this one and then we have to make it some stabilized and then select both the shapes and defocus also we don't need to change these two joints this is the most important part now if we change the shape position something like that now this much area is pretty nice so i'm just making a dummy frame so how to create a dummy frame just press up and down to make a dummy keyframe so in this keyframe we had a information here but this keyframe information and this keyframe information are exactly same so now in this case just press shift and x to go forward and z to backward now see both the frames are exactly same but this area is bit changing so just take this vertices and just press one here bit like this something around this so now we check this both the shapes are exactly matching like this okay so now this area is also it should go a bit up like this and something around this one okay fine now shift x and z see this is completely match so in this way you can exactly create some this kind of uh, defocus rotos and all and when you just make it to normal you can exactly see the defocus roto is completely done so i hope guys you understand what i'm trying to show you in this very simple module from defocus but if you really want to learn in more in depth way then you should definitely check out this graphy online course enrollment free is only 3000 so go and enroll and we'll be see you on this platform very soon and guys if you really like our videos then don't forget to subscribe share and like comment and please follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below see you next time with some more amazing content till then have fun bye bye